Hey guys, it's Chris from HowStuffMyCarWorks.com. Today I'll be showing you how to do the hinge pins on a 97S10 pickup and the bushings. This covers all GMC and Chevy S10s from 94 to 2003. First thing you do is remove the spring. Make sure you wear safety glasses because the spring could fly out and hit you in the eye. Remove the spring using a pry bar. On this job, it's better to use a floor jack with a piece of wood. The piece of wood protects the bottom of the door from getting damaged. If you can have an assistant assist you by using the jack while you're removing the pins, it'll make your job a lot easier. You remove the clip that holds the pin with a small pry bar. Start by guiding the upper pin out with a punch and a hammer. Keep pulling it out with the pry bar. Remove the clip on the bottom pin and hammer the pin out. Make sure your assistant's holding the door while you pull the pin out or your door could be on the floor. Slide the door off slightly and use a pry bar to take out the worn bushing. Remove all the other bushings. Take note, the new bushings have one small one and one big one. The small one goes on the top and the best way to do it is to guide it with pliers to prevent damaging it. Put a sock underneath and finish driving the bushing in. Repeat the steps except the bottom hinge, smaller bushing goes on the bottom because the pin goes in the opposite direction. Once your bushings are in, slide the door back in place and line the holes with the bushing. Once the door's aligned, drop in your pin. Finish driving the pin in with the hammer. Make sure you install your safety clips on your pins. To make putting the door spring on easier, put two pieces of bailing wire on both ends of the spring and compress it with a vise. Once you're done compressing the spring, cut the access wire. Once you put your spring in and cut the wires, use nails pliers to remove them. Now you know how to change your hinge pins on an S10 and S15 pickups. Make sure you visit our websites and see you next time.